In this video, we'll discuss the setup for transferring VHS to a digital format. First, let's take a look at the supplies you'll need. You'll need a computer with a USB port, some RCA cables, an Elgato video capture device, and a VHS machine. Okay, the first thing you'll do is take the RCA cables and put them into the video audio out. You'll find them in the back of the VHS machine. On the back of the machine there, there's a slot for in and there are plugs for out. And every VHS machine is different. So when you do this, you'll want to make sure again that you are plugging the RCA cables into the video audio out and just match up the colors, yellow with yellow, white with white, and red with red, and it's that easy. The next step is to take the other end of the RCA cable and plug it into the Elgato video capture device. Now this is the same way you do yellow to yellow, white to white, and red to red. And you'll notice there is one that we didn't use there, and that is the S video. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. If you have the RCA cables in, you're good to go. Okay, we've got one step left, and that is plugging the Elgato video capture device into our computer. Just plug it into one of your computer's USB ports. And in case you're wondering what that thing is on the side of my computer, my computer doesn't have any USB ports. So I actually had to buy an adapter for my computer. So if your computer doesn't have a USB port, you can purchase an adapter for usually pretty cheap on Amazon. And that's it. Now you can see the whole setup here from the Elgato to the RCA cable to the back of the VHS machine. Now what I like to do is I like to put all my cords in back so that they're not in the way when I start transferring. Once we have the setup complete, now we need to download the software that's going to help us convert the video. So let's download the software and then we'll be ready. To download the software, we'll go to elgato.com and then click on downloads on the main page. After you click on downloads, go to the search bar, type in the words video capture and you'll get the correct download. Right now it's version 2.0.7. It may be a different version if they've updated it. And notice on the right there, you can either do the Mac version or you can do the Windows. Just download the software, follow the directions, and you'll be ready to go. All right, let's start converting some of those VHS tapes to a digital format. First thing I'm gonna do is go to my launch pad so that I can find the Elgato program. And there it is. If you're using the Windows operating system, it'll be a shortcut on your desktop. And that shortcut will look just like this one here. So we'll click on Elgato and it will open up to this page. First thing we need to do is name our movie. So I'm just going to name this Home Movie 1. Okay, and then you click how long you think it's going to be and it will tell you how much hard disk space is required. So you see 30 minutes there is 364 megabytes of space. If I change this to a custom amount and do something like say 200, then it's 2.4 gig of hard drive space. So it's pretty neat, it tells you how much space that many minutes will take up on your hard drive. So we're just gonna do 120. I don't think it will be longer than that. This is a number we'll use later on as well. Go ahead and hit continue. Okay, now here you have an option for your video input. You have S-Video or RCA. If you remember, we use the RCA cables. There's no S-Video plugged in. So RCA is really the easiest and best way to do this. So we click RCA and then you have an option to do 16 by nine or four by three. And we'll come back and revisit this a little later. All right, now it's time to put our VHS tape in the VCR. But before we do that, I want to give you a little tip. On each VHS tape, there's this little tab. And we like to break this tab. And the reason we break the tab is so that you don't accidentally record onto the tape. This tab allows you to record content onto the tape. So I just take a pen and just break it off. You see it popped off there pretty quick. It went flying actually, but the tab's gone now. No tab and we can use this tape in the VCR knowing that there's no way to record over it. So now let's put the VHS tape into the VCR and hit play. There we go. We've got our movie playing now. 
and you'll notice when I do 16 by nine, all it does is stretch out your pixels. It just stretches it out. So I suggest going with four by three because it will look the way it did when you filmed it. So my suggestion is do four by three because these VHS, they're standard format. All right, let's hit continue again. You'll be able to look at your audio levels here. You'll also be able to hear it coming out of the speakers. So I noticed one of my levels are low, but coming out of the speakers, it sounds just fine. So we're good to go. Okay, we'll hit continue and pop over to this page. And now is the time to get your tape all set up. So rewind it where you want to start the tape, probably at the beginning, you can rewind all the way to the beginning, but get your tape to where you would like to start recording. Then once you have your tape where you want it, we're gonna hit record first on the computer and then we'll hit play on the VCR. So record on the computer first, then play on the VCR, and then you'll get the whole thing. Uh, so here's some little home movies of my daughter, Mikkel. If you check this box, it will automatically stop the recording after 120 minutes. And that recording time is based off what you chose at the beginning. So if you chose 30 minutes at the beginning, it'll record 30 minutes before it will stop. And if you chose 120, record 120 minutes before you stop. And if you click this one, it will mute the sound. That doesn't mute it on the actual source. All it does is mute it so that it's not coming out of your computer speakers. That way you don't have to listen to it the whole time. So if you don't wanna hear what's going on and you just wanna keep doing some work, hit mute sound and it won't come out of your computers. That mute sound doesn't affect the recording at all. It will only mute the computer speakers. Then once you're done recording, you just have to hit stop recording and it will bring you to this page. Now there are a couple of things here. There is a play bar, like a scroll bar, that'll let you scroll through it so you can see what content is in the video. And there are these bars down here, and what that is is for trimming the video. So you can kind of see where your video start is, and if you move that, that's your end point. We'll move it right to the beginning of the video, right where the video started. And on this one, we'll move right before I get in the picture. We just want Mikkel in this video. So that's where it will trim it. It will trim this amount of space. Hit continue and you'll get this page. It will say your movie was saved successfully and it will show you where it is. Now this is pretty cool. You can actually click on it and it will open up Finder to the exact spot that your home movie is in. So you can check it out and see how the recording looks. And the Windows operating system works like this too. When you click on the file, it will actually open the file so you can check out your video. So it's really neat. No matter what operating system you're on, whether it's Mac or Windows, Elgato works the same way. Very simple. So let's check this out and see how our video looks. And it looks like it's perfect. It started right where I put my in point and ended right where I put my out point. And that's all there is to digitizing it. So now I have my VHS on my computer and I can share this with friends and family.